everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So today is episode 4 of Friday Sews and I've had quite a busy week so far. There are still a couple of days to go so I'm filming on a Wednesday again this week. It just seems to be the day that is perfect for me to film on so maybe that's what will happen moving forwards, we'll see. My husband has taken um, Friday off from work this week but he is going to be home again tomorrow afternoon because he's got his Covid jab in the morning so his work have advised him to come home straight afterwards and I'm just hoping that he's not going to really be affected with the side effects too much and um, so we'll yeah we'll just see how he goes but he's taken the Friday off to continue with the rabbit hutch so fingers crossed he can do that because we had some deliveries yesterday for him to continue working on that and it's come along really really well so I'll insert a photo of what it's currently looking like um, I'm really impressed with you know how it is looking he's done such a marvellous job so hopefully it won't be too much longer and then we'll be able to get the rabbits. So I have done a little bit of sewing um, this week. Now at the beginning of the week I decided that I needed to sew some type of blinds for our conservatory windows downstairs. Um, our conservatory has about four windows um, and three of them are really big panes of glass and when the sun comes into that room, because we're a south facing garden, we get the sun in there most of the day and it just gets absolutely roasting in there. I mean, it's absolutely unbearable. And we have our dining room table in there at the moment. Um, so we have our dinner in there and to sit in there when the sun's streaming in, it's just really uncomfortable to eat in there. So we decided that we needed to put some blinds up but because we were going to be doing quite a lot of renovations to the house eventually. We didn't want anything that was sort of um, a permanent fixture. So I decided to use my ticking fabric and I have kind of made some temporary blinds. So we've just put some hooks up and I've just sort of popped those on with made some buttonholes and just hooked them up basically. And then I'm going to um, just tie them up, like, you know, so roll them up and then tie them up. So I'll insert some photos of how that is looking. Um, yeah, and yeah, luckily the width of the fabric was just about right, so I overlocked the edges and didn't do a seam allowance on the sides just because it just fitted the window absolutely perfect. And I've still got quite a lot of that ticking fabric left, actually, so that's good because <laughs> I was worried it was going to take quite a lot of that um, up. So the next thing that I did this week was just to hem my poppy pinafore um, by Loopy Mabel's Closet. So my summer version, I just overlocked the hem as I'd ran out of the specky seamstress bias binding that I use for the armholes and the neckband so I have now added that onto the hem so that was the first little bit of sewing that I did this week and then I just used the same colour thread so you can't actually see that hem and I didn't want to take too much of the dress up because I already liked the length that it was at when it was just overlocked so I've literally done a very small centimetre hem and using the bias binding does help with that so that's now finished um, I have been wearing it with just the overlocked hem and it looked absolutely fine you know nobody would have known any different if I hadn't have pointed it out um, and then the next thing I have sewn this week is the Friday Pattern Company Wilder Gown um, now this is the blaze version and I really really like how this has turned out and this fabric I got from Felicity Fabrics now they did state it was a peach skin on their website but I think it is actually a cotton lawn um, because it doesn't really have that peach kind of feeling and I've used um, a cotton lawn fabric like this before so it feels the same and it, it does kind of crease a little bit you know I've noticed that where I've been wearing it I've got crease lines where the my arm bends and um, it was really nice to sew with this fabric it you know it pressed and, and sewed really nicely and I really like the blouse version of this so now it's encouraged me to get on with making the dress version as I do have a kit from Guthrie and Garney to do that really like the neckline detail on this and um, now my bow isn't tied very well I'm not very good at tying bows but when I actually put it on it looks okay it's just the way I've tied it whilst it's not on my body and um, yeah and I really like the neckline detail it's really very pretty and you can just move the gathers around as you see fit when you are wearing it it's got raglan sleeves and um, so that's a really nice feature as well there's no setting in of any sleeves it's got a seam down the middle which um, it creates this kind of keyhole opening here which is where you then bring the blouse together at the neckline and it's a really quick and easy sew. Um, it does tell you in the instructions just to sew the seams and then to finish the edges of the um, seam allowances but I actually just use my overlocker for that. Um, I did find that this blouse came up quite short 
Now I've made the size small because I didn't want it too generous over my bust area, um, but because I am a pear shape and this is quite a straight blouse, it's quite tight fitting around my hip area. So next time when I wait, make this, I will just A-line it out very slightly and lengthen it as well because it is a lot shorter than what I thought it was going to be. Um, so for that reason, I have made my own bias binding using the same fabric and I've just added that and you can see literally I've just turned it over so I kept as much length as possible. Now bizarrely when I do fold it under it does give the illusion of it being tucked into like my jeans and that kind of thing so I do have that option but if I tuck it in because of how short it is it just pulls back out again when I move so that doesn't really work and um, so I will a-line my next version so I can just wear it out and it just be a little bit looser around my hip area. So I'll insert some photos of me wearing this as I manage to get some photos um, yeah, and I'm just so happy with it. So I'm really looking forward to making the dress version and I really do like this fabric and it's something a little bit different to what I've got in my wardrobe um, and it is a little bit dressy as well. So I did wear it on the school run and uh, yeah, got quite a few compliments, so that was nice. The next thing I've managed to sew um, isn't 100% completed because I need to check the waist on my son Thomas. So I finished the pyjamas, uh, which is the... Um, these are the holiday pyjamas by, I think it's So Simple Home or something like that. I'll insert the details in the description box below for you because they are a free pattern. Um, so this is the t-shirt and it's got these little lions on it. Um, and I got this fabric from Crafty So and So in Leicester. I've just used a ribbing for the neckband and this fabric I already had, which I picked up from the Fancy Silk store in Birmingham a long, long time ago. And then I've just twin needled the um, arm hems and around the neck band as well. And I always add um, my neck bands by just sewing them on the sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. I just, just do not trust myself to go in straight with the overlocker because I've done that in the past and cut too much off and ended up with a really thin neck band. So I always just zigzag them on with my sewing machine, overlock the um, seam allowance and then top stitch that seam allowance down with using a twin needle. And I've twin needled the hem on there as well. Now I've just used thread that I already had. I really do need to stock up on my threads actually. I'm starting to run really low. So I've just used two different colours. And um, so there's like an orangey colour and a green colour on there, which just sort of goes with the, the colours in the fabric. And then the shorts, I've now made a lot shorter um, and they look a lot better. So I've just again twin needled those. Now I haven't put the elastic in because that's what I'm waiting to do. I need to wait for Thomas to come home from school so I can measure his waist with the elastic and just get that sort of the right um, snugness for him so it's comfortable when he wears them to bed. So he'll be really happy with those because he's been asking where they've been going to be finished. And I, I don't know why, I just kept putting off doing it because I think it was because I had to cut the, the legs shorter. So yes, like I say, that's a free pattern, really nice to sew up. They do come as full length legs and full length sleeves. So I've just cropped them so they're shorts and t-shirt style, which was, you know, quite simple to do. I just didn't get the length right initially as they were way too long. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I've been sewing this week. Now, I was contacted earlier this week by a lovely lady called Brianna, and she is in the United States and she has an Instagram page called Friends of Susie. And she contacted me um, as she actually makes dolls and uh, she's just released her first pattern for people to be able to make these dolls and there is a tutorial alongside it on YouTube. So she asked me if I would kindly like to make this doll up and to do a giveaway on my Instagram page. So I'm all for, you know, supporting local businesses. So I immediately said yes. Now, I, I don't really make too many soft toys. I mean, I know I've been doing a little bit of crochet, um, but that was really just to sort of get my crochet skills up and going, I suppose. But I really do did like the look of this little doll. So I have gone ahead and made it. And my niece actually turns 13 on the weekend. So I thought it would be nice to make it for her, as obviously I don't have any um, daughters, um, and that she could have it as part of her birthday present. And I don't think 13 is too old to have a doll, you know, especially if it's been handmade by somebody. And I think she'll really like it. So I'll just grab it. So this is the doll here. Um, as you can see, she's really, really cute. She's got these lovely little pigtails and a bow in her hair, um, a little elasticated skirt, um, 
yeah and I've just used it the fabrics that I've used to make this I got from Aldi and um, which is a supermarket in the UK I just happened to be in there getting my food shop on Monday and I saw some fat quarters and just picked them up because they just look really sweet with all these um, strawberries on there and I've just got some contrasting fabric to go with that as well this was such a joy to sew up and the tutorial alongside the written instructions was really nice um, really clear tutorial that Brianna has done um, and it was just a really thorough thoroughly enjoyable sew and it, you know there was a little bit of hand stitching involved where I've done the mouth and her eyelashes and then you just heat and bond the eyes on and her hair and eyes are from made from felt although I, I do think you could use just fabric if you wanted to um, and I've just glue gunned the little bow on I did find tying the bow a little bit tricky because it is only a little bit of fabric but after a few goes I managed to get there um, I think if you made the bow a little bit longer it would be a little bit easier to do but yes I got there eventually but I'm really really happy with how she's turned out the boys actually really like her and they were laughing because you know we were singing songs and getting her legs kicking up and doing ballet <laughs> that kind of thing which they thought was really funny um yeah so there's going to be a giveaway on my instagram for um anybody who comments basically we're go it's going to be put into a draw so the person who comments with a friend two people will win the giveaway if that makes sense um so i've just sent the photos that I've taken of this over to Brianna um, there is seven hours difference between here and where she lives so she's behind so I've taken the photo so she should be waking up shortly I expect and see the photos and then we'll organize the giveaway but I'm hoping by the time this video comes out the giveaway will be live so if you do head over onto my Instagram um, account you will be able to enter this um, yeah, so you, you can receive basically win the written pattern and then you can use the tutorial on YouTube to sew her up um, and you can do the co hair colour any colour you want um, and you know and use any type of fabric really to make her skin and dress and that kind of thing so I'm really happy with that so I'm going to include that in my niece's birthday present um, and I've already sent her a I think it was a baking book that she wanted and um, so she because she does really like to do baking so I've already sent that to her and her mum's going to wrap that for me I've just got it delivered direct um, but her mum actually contacted me um, earlier last week and as she's going into her teenage years you know she said would the females of the family basically think back to when we were 13 and what advice would we give our 13 year old self and I thought that was you know quite a good idea and sort of write it in a card or something for her so she can actually read it and that kind of thing and um, yeah you know me looking back when I was 13 it was a long 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 time ago now and things have really changed since I was 13 years old there was none of this social media you know anything like that so I think being a 13 year old nowadays is probably a lot harder to be honest and um, so I'm not very good at putting things into words and in the end I did contact the girls in my Felicity Fabrics WhatsApp group and um, to ask their advice of what you know what would they say to their 13 year old self and if they could help me come up with some quotes and, and things like that and they were great they came back with all sorts so I've got some that I'm going to actually write on some card um, and I've got this little box that I received with a gift in a while ago and it's just you know got a little heart on the top and some little bits of uh, wrapping stuff in there and I'm going to actually make sort of business um, card size cards and cut them with a nice one of my nice scissors. I've got some that does zigzags and things like that. And I'm going to write the quotes and, and advice and things like that on there and put that in this little box for her. And then I'm also including this lovely hairband. Um, now these are quite popular. Um, they don't suit me, but um, I've always wanted to wear one. But they, yeah, they just don't suit me. Um, but my friend makes these and her name is Sarah she lives around the corner from me and she does have an Instagram account and I'll put the detail across the bottom of the screen and also link her details in the description box below for you and um, because she is selling these so if you are interested in getting your hands on something like this then you know she's got some lovely versions in her shop um, and I picked this one because I really like the fabric that she had used so that's going to be wrapped up in this lovely butterfly fabric um, along with those cards in that little box and I will include my little Susie doll in there um, yeah and I'm really looking forward to her receiving that I hope that she really likes her gift 
Um, I'm just over the moon with this doll, <laughs> to be honest. I think I am actually going to make one for myself, um, much to my husband's dis disgust. <laughs> he hates cuddly toys and anything like that, but I might just make one for myself and she can sit on the bed or something. Um, so that's what I have been getting up to this week. So all I've got to do is finish the pyjamas around the waist for my son. Um, and then I'm not really sure what my plans are moving forwards, but there's always something in the pipeline. I don't have any um, Zoom sewing socials booked in this week just because I have got quite a busy week with running and walking with friends and that kind of thing. So um, I'll hopefully be on my Zoom with Angela from Devon Thread Tales next week. So thank you very much for watching today. I'm sorry it's a bit brief. And also if the lighting is a little bit off, it's just because the, the day is a little bit dreary today in comparison to what we have been having. So it just looks a little bit darker to me. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the content anyway. Please do like and subscribe and I will see you again soon.